Welcome to PE in Everything. Today we're going to be looking at the understanding first and foremost of planes and axes. Okay, so singular and plural terms. So plane would be singular, planes would be plural, axis would be singular, axes would be plural. Getting that understood is quite a tricky thing, but once you understand it, it's perfect. So, as we know, there are three motions in which our bodies can move in. But what are they called? Perfect. These are called planes. Okay. Let's take a look at these three planes. Okay, so let's look at this further. Nice little table there, my man. So, firstly, if you move, move again, that keyword, move forwards or backwards as the superb person will demonstrate arrows. Yeah, this includes the head, the body, the legs, the arms. If they move forwards or backwards, that is moving in the sagittal plane. Okay, the sagittal plane. So if you move your head, your feet, your arms, your legs forward, that will be in the sagittal plane. Sporting example would be running because you have to go forwards, correct? Perfect. Nextly, if you move from side to side, okay, as the beautiful stigma is showing, yeah, this is called the frontal plane, as I've put there, frontal plane. That also includes the head, the legs, the arms, and everything. The final plane is a bit of a tricky one, okay, to understand. So if you move one half of your body, differently than the other half of your body that is moving in the transverse plane. So as you can see via the diagram, he, the stick man is moving his top half sideways, so therefore it's a different plane. Okay, so a sporting example of the frontal plane, so side to side would be something like a cartwheel, and in the transverse one, something like a golf swing, because it involves you just moving the top half of your body. Okie dokie, moving on. So, ways to understand these, uh, these, these terms that we're using for the different planes, and also the axes when we get onto it. But, if you spell them out a lot of time, you will understand them a bit more. If you do memory games with them, you might understand them a bit more. If you link the words to other words, you might understand them a bit more. So, that's the tricky part to do understanding so i told mr hand here to quickly draw me a human being he looks a bit a bit dodgy at the moment give him some hair oh, that's it mate beautiful okay we're looking at the planes now so the planes are like screens going through humans and that's the direction so if you uh, put a screen between the eyes and it goes out oh, your front and your back. That is, if you remember, the sagittal plane, moving forwards or backwards. If you put one from ear to ear, so from shoulder to shoulder, from the side to side, remember, that is called the frontal plane. And if you put one directly through your middle, so it separates the top and the bottom and you move the two different uh, halves of your body differently. That is called the transverse plane, okay? Together, they're all called planes. Now, axes. Definition of axes would be something like the motion in which your body can rotate around, okay? Rotate, that word, rotate. So don't get it twisted, don't get it mixed up. Planes move, axes rotate. Direction of movement, direction of rotation. Perfect. So, if you can think of, this is how I was taught. If you can think of it like this. So, one axis is um, somersault. So, a forward somersault. The next one is like a sideward somersault. And then the final one is like a twist. Okay? I've tried to draw stick man visuals for you here for better understanding of what I mean. Okay, so as you can see, the somersault would be a forward one. So, yeah, perfect. The side one would be a side somersault, like a cartwheel. 
and then the twist one would be a, a direct twist. So the somersault, the forward somersault is called the four frontal, sorry, the frontal axis. The sideward somersault is the sagittal axis. And then the twist is called the vertical axis. So these are things to help me, things that I link to it. And these are the correct terminology. So we're going to look at this a bit more further. So if I draw three stick men, nice job, smiley faces, all goody good. And I put a invisible stick through them. This invisible stick will uh, determine how I can rotate the human, like a bit like a skewer, okay? So if I, in, in, the, in the first instance, if I put it directly through their sides, okay? So I've put this skewer directly through their sides. This enables them to move in the frontal plane. So they can only move forwards or backwards if I rotate this stick. Okay, so a sporting example of this could be something like, um, what's best to use? A handstand, because in order to generate the movement from handstand, you need to more move in the frontal axis because you shoot your hands forward to the ground and your feet would follow, and it's all to do with the forward movement. Okay, the next one, I'm putting the stick directly through the belly button and it's gonna come out the other side. So this would m enable the person to move on a side-to-side -side axis. This is called the sagittal axis. So a goalkeeper would be a perfect example because when they dive, they have to move sideways and they have to rotate the body sideways. So for the next one, if I put my invisible skewer up the person's <whistles> and out of their head, then twist it, it means that they're moving on the vertical axis. And a sporting example would be like a half twist in trampolining. Okay, so we've got our three axes now. Frontal, sagittal, vertical. So we pause the video for a minute. I want you to try your hardest to remember the three planes and also the three axes. See if you can do that now. Okie dokie, time is up. Firstly, for the planes, we have the sagittal plane, forwards and backwards, the frontal plane, side to side, the transverse plane, top to bottom. Axes, we have the frontal axes, sagittal axes, and the vertical axes. Okie dokie, I think we're making progress here. I think we're making perfect progress. So in the GCSEs, they might ask you to combine the two. So you've got to be aware of axes and planes. So if I ask the hand to draw me a trampoline, perfect. And then if you can draw me, not, 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 don't take your time, don't take your time. But if you can draw me an uh, illustration of an individual doing something like a, a forward somersault. So, yep, yeah, a forward somersault. So you've got to be able to know which axes and which plane that they're moving on. So I know that they're going forwards. So if they are moving forwards, then mm, that must be the sagittal plane. Perfect. Okay, so we know that that's the, if we know which way would the skewer go, uh, the skewer would go through their sides. So if they're moving forwards and they're rotating that way, then we know that they'll be moving on the frontal axis. Perfect. That's the kind of way you've got to, to, to understand it. So if we look at another sporting example, but one a bit more uh, trickier. So we've got our golfer here and they're swinging the ball uh, for, to drive for the, to the golf ball. Uh, the plane would be, which would be if we see that, okay, we know that for a golf swing, their feet stay static and their top half would move to hit the ball. So we're going to say this is on the transverse plane. Perfect. Axes, okay, they start at one point and they rotate their body around to hit the ball, then come around the other side. So I'm saying that this would be on the vertical axis. Perfect. Okie dokie. Okay, 
So now it's your time. In the comments section below, I want you to try and figure out what plane and what axis would be involved when taking a free throw in basketball. Okie dokie. And remember, remember, it doesn't have to be uh, overly complicated when you're trying to figure it out. It's not hard. Once you know the terminology and you know the, uh, the principles behind it, uh, you'll figure it out. It's perfect.